Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 176 in the series of basic math, and today we'll have our fifth lesson in the series of seven on the topic of unit digit. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. The question is very, very simple. Very straightforward. The question simply is, what's the unit digit? What's the unit digit of 27 raised to 37 plus 37 raised to 27? One more time, 27 raised to 37 plus it's an addition. It's not a multiplication. Plus 37 raised to 27. As usual, now I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do the problem yourself first. Once you have the answer, then we'll compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. In a few seconds time. Here are the answer choices A, B, C, D, E. The answer choices are 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. In the event that you have trouble with it, in the event that you are stuck somehow, somewhere, make sure you watch, make sure you watch the previous day's video. This is the fifth, fifth one in the series. By the time we get to the fifth one, I take it for granted that you have watched the first four. Always watch the videos in the proper sequence. It will make you understand the concepts better. If this, this, this one gives you trouble, this, this problem is very similar to what we did on day number 173 and 174. Make sure you watch those two videos and you will see that these problems are very straightforward. I will give you some now 5 seconds and I will get out of your way for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay, here we go. Do the problem yourself first. Alright. Let's find out the unit digit of 27 raised to 37, shall we? Well, 27... 27 raised to 1, of course, will simply end in a 7. When we multiply that by 27 one more time, what we'll end up is 7 times 7. The unit digit of 27 times 27, 27 squared, is going to be 7, 7, 7, 7 is a 49, will end in a 9. Will end in a 9. We don't have to write it with all the way there, that's it, it will end in a 9. This, of course, this, of course, will end in a 7. 27 raised to 27 raised to 1 ends up obviously in 7 because 27 raised to 1 is 27. So this one is, represents the unit digit of 27 squared. 27 squared will end in a 9. Whatever that is, we are not interested in what 27 times 27 is. The point here is that whatever the product of 27 times 27 is, 27 27, it's going to end in a 9. If you multiply that, that number by 27 one more time, whatever that is, multiply one more time, we'll end up with 27 cubed. And again, we, we are not interested in what 27 cube is, all that we are interested in, all that we care about is the fact that whatever it is, has to end in a 9 times 7, 9 7 is a 63, it will end in a 3. You multiply that answer, whatever that is, by 27 one more time, we end up with 27 raised to 4, 27 raised to 4, and whatever that is, it's going to end in a 7 times 3, so 3 7 is a 21. So whatever the 27 raised to 4 is, must end in a 1. As soon as you hit 1, as soon as we hit 1, that's where the story is going to end. That's the end of the story because if you were to multiply that by 27 one more time, if you were to multiply 27 one more time, then 27 raised to 5, 27 raised to 5, whatever it is, has to end in a 7 because it's 1 times 7. Since we hit the 1, 1 times 7 is going to be 7, we, we are back to where we started. We, we, started with, we started with the very first one which was which was which was 27 and 27 was simply 27 raised to 1 so we are back to where we started we, we begin with 7 we finally end up arrive at 7 which means if we were to continue here it will repeat the pattern 7 times 7 is going to end in a 9 and 9 times 7 is going to end in a 3 63 and 6, 3 times 7 is going to be 21 and it's in a 1 it's going to repeat the pattern now the pattern is this the pattern is very straightforward very simple the pattern is 7, 9, 3, 1. 7, 9, 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1, forever and ever. It will simply go 7, 9, 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1, forever and ever as we said. As you can clearly see, as you can clearly see, each cycle has four beats. Each cycle has four parts to it. Each cycle has four parts. We are interested in 27 raised to 37. 27 raised to 37. The 37th power 
if you were to divide it by 4, if you were to divide it by 4 because there are 4 in each part, that's simply 36 over 4, 36 plus over 4, I'm making it too complicated, we have 37 power which is simply 36 plus 1, 36 plus 1. For 36, 36 as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, each, each part is made up of, each, beat, each cycle is made up of 4 parts and therefore 36 represents, 36 represents 9, 9 complete cycles. In other words, in other words, 27, 27 raised to 36, 27 raised to 36 would have ended in 1. We would have had a 9 complete cycle. Here, we don't have 36, we have 37, which means after we finish the 9 complete cycles, 7, 9, 7, 7, 9, 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1, so after we finish 9 complete cycle, we still have one more to go. One more to go. The very first B in the cycle is 7. Is 7. Which means, which means, which means 27, 27 raised to 37 will end in a 7. Will end in a 7. Now, we can take care of this part. Lucky for us, lucky for us is the same unit digit, 37 and 27, they, all happen, they both happen to have this unit digit of 7. Since they have the same unit digit, we don't have to do any, any work at all, it's the same cycle. 37 will have the same pattern. It's, instead, of three, instead of 27, it's going to be, instead of 2's, instead of, instead of twos it's going to be 3, but that's not, that we are not interested in that part, we are interested in only the unit digit. The unit digit is, is of 37, when you multiply 37 times 37, it ends in a 9. 37 cube is going to end in a 3, 37 raised to 4 and it's going to end in a 1, it's going to have the same cycle. Here we have 27, here we have, here we have 27, let's take, a, take care of this part, 27 is simply equal to 24 plus 3, 24 plus 3, 24, 24, since there are 4, e, four there are, since there are four, 4 parts in each cycle, 24 divided by 4, this one will have Six complete cycles. Six for the twenty-four, and we have three more to go. We have three more to go. So after we finish six complete cycle, we'll have three more to go. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, what do you know? It's going to end in a three. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven raised to thirty-seven raised to twenty-seven. Thirty-seven raised to twenty-seven. Thirty-seven raised to twenty-seven will end in three. We already know that this one ends in a seven. Twenty-seven raised to thirty-seven will end in a seven. Thirty-seven raised to twenty-seven we just found out ends in a three. And then we are supposed to take their sum. We are supposed to take their sum. So here we have a number that ends in a seven. Here we have a number that ends in a three. So we have some number here which ends in a 7 and then we take a sum, here is another number that ends in a 3 and the question is what's the unit digit of the sum, unit digit of, the, of, the, of this, this quantity and that quantity, the sum of these two quantity is simply going to be the unit, is simply going to be the sum of the unit digit of this quantity and that quantity is 7 plus 3, this should end, will end, will end in 7 plus 3, it's going to end in a 0, the unit digit of this quantity, the sum of this quantity and that quantity is simply going to be the sum of the unit digit of this quantity which is 7 and the unit digit of this quantity which is 3 and therefore the unit digit of their sum is going to be simply the sum of 7 and a 3, 7 plus 3 is 10, therefore it's going to end in a 0. The answer is a 0. Not a regular 0, a big fat one. A big fat one. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.